Dominique, et nique, et nique, s'en allait tout simplement au Dieu, pauvre et chantant. Hello for the eighth and last part of my series about masturbation in religion and philosophy. Today, to close, it will be a pure philosophical observation. Let's find out what masturbation can teach us from a philosophical standpoint. First, it learns us what sexuality really is. Sexuality is when you really look at it very young. Today, we know that it dates only from the 19th century. In this time, Sigmund Freud defined for the first time what sexuality really is. He explained it with a little baby sucking his thumb. The baby who is sucking his thumb has to his mouth not only a relation like to an organ which covers the need for food, no, it feels a superficial pleasure while sucking. It has a contact with the mucus, so, Freud defines, I quote him, sexuality is a from the satisfaction organic needs independent relation to his own body as pleasure organ, unquote. So, there we have a definition from sexuality. If we take no a definition for masturbation who gets too much involved with the touching of certain of our body parts, then it's absolutely not comprehensible what's so extraordinary with this act of masturbation if we see us, all in all, as sexual beings. So you can not define masturbation through the used organ, but through the relation you have with your own body. Therefore, it's not even wrong to speak about an intellectual masturbation, because, indeed, it's also true masturbation. Freud remarked that intellectual work satisfies us in a very noble manner by turning us on. So we relish this intellectual process, and uh, this is sexuality in its true sense, enjoying the own body as lost organ. Sexuality does not define itself through the relation to somebody else, but to yourself. With other words, masturbation is an essential property of sexuality. What is mysterious about self-gratification is that it's not sufficient to us. This proves that there is something in us human which is not made for wisdom. If we were made for wisdom, we were more happy wankers. Sorry ladies, the same for you. I think masturbation learns us that we have today to invent a new form of wisdom. This wisdom might be explained that we as human beings have something deeply lonely inside us, but we always break down under the utopia of our loneliness. This forces us to open ourselves to others. So, we don't need a wisdom of independence, but a wisdom of relationship. And this 2500 years after Diogenes has invented the utopia of the Greek wisdom. This would be a modern version of this wisdom, for through we can learn to masturbate with the conscience that we occur the danger that it would not be sufficient. I hope you have learned with my videos that masturbation is for women and for men, reality, normal, permitted, beautiful, good, well-feeling, nice, pleasant, appropriate, simple, excellent, honorable, superb, useful, gratifying, uplifting, respectable, reputable, simple, easy, exquisite. Subscribe here, rate here, leave your comment.